I say that, I've never had a coffee in my life. I've never had a cup of tea either, so I don't really know what I'm missing out on. Good morning everybody, or guten Morgen Deutschland. Uh, we're still here in Berlin uh, for day two of our little German adventure. Um, yeah, so today we've got an action-packed day. We're just heading out for a little bit of breakfast. We're back on these really fun Uber bikes. Yeah, just heading for some breakfast, uh, or Frühstück, as I think it's called. Um, and then what are we doing? We're gonna go on a run, a little recovery run after the uh, fun and antics of running around the Berlin Marathon course yesterday. So yeah, just gonna do about 10K today, uh, back around the Tiergarten, and then we're gonna catch a train to somewhere really exciting. And um, also talk about some Berlin Marathon tips uh, after running the course yesterday. I thought I'd put pen to paper and get some Berlin Marathon tips down there for anyone that's thinking of running it this year, or probably, probably know if you're running it by now, <laughs> hopefully. It's breakfast time and Sarah, what have you gone for? Avocado on toast. And? What have you gone for? What are you drinking? Uh, soy latte. And it's that proper coffee. Yes. I love it when people, these coffee aficionados are like, oh, I'm going to get a proper, it's all coffee. I'll say that, I've never had a coffee in my life. I've never had a cup of tea either, so I don't really know what I'm missing out on. But yeah, avocado on toast and a load of berries in a smoothie to get that all those all that lactic acid although we didn't really do much strenuous stuff yesterday but recover the legs good berries recovery juice right let's get stuck into this sorry i can't wait sarah's not waiting she didn't wait for anybody when there's food in front of her we'll see in a bit it's been so nice cycling around berlin these last couple of days they just just something about being in europe uh everybody just seems to get on a little bit better when you're out on the roads. Um, yeah, just a lovely, lovely place to be. And yeah, compared to being in London, I don't do anything in London other than run everywhere basically because that's the safest thing. I wouldn't last five minutes out on a bike in London. Right, we are back at the hotel. Uh, right guys, so we're out on the run, just heading through the middle of the Tiergarten. And yes, trying to stay a little bit in the shade as much as I can because it's another scorching day here in Berlin. So yeah, today's run we're just going to be doing about 10k, uh, somewhere between 4.25 and 4.30 pace. Very relaxed, not really looking at my watch, just running off feel, keeping it very easy and getting these legs back, recover, getting the blood flowing and yeah, need some water at the moment. We're about 8k done, so a couple of k to go and get back to the hotel. So yeah, have you been watching much of the UTMB coverage? It's so amazing to see like live streaming on YouTube and all the content they put out. It just makes the racing so exciting and I really wish there was a way in road racing especially to have some sort of similar content around races. Uh, the trail running scene is booming at the moment. Lots of road runners going over to run on the trails which is amazing and I do love running trails I've still got some unfinished business to do on the roads at the moment but yeah check out UTMB and all the coverage this weekend who's gonna win I'd say my money's on Tim Tollefson this year we and Sarah were lucky enough to bump into him at last year's race a lovely lovely guy one of the Hoka only only athletes so yeah by the time I put this video out the race will probably be finished so I'll either look very clever for a bit silly. But yeah, there we go. Check out all the coverage. Have you got any trail races coming up? Do you like trail running? Or were you a road runner? Or were you like me? And do a little bit on both. What wins in the debate? Roads or trails for you? Let me know down in the comments. Right guys, let's finish this run up and then we'll see you on the train down to our new mystery destination. We'll see you in a bit. So the train has just arrived. It's proper old-fashioned, uh, like the trains when I used to grow up. 
but yeah you'll see whoa there is a massive step to get on whoa yeah that's what she said that's like all these little compartments And now Sarah, being so super social, wants to find one all to herself. Right guys, we have arrived in. If you haven't guessed it yet, we're here in Frankfurt. There's another noisy train pulls in. So yeah, very hungry, very tired. We've been on the train for about five hours down from Berlin but it's a lovely way to travel bit of a bizarre one I think it was a bit like like the mega bus we had some very cheap tickets on this uh, flex bus I don't think it was a normal train I think that's a normal German train and this is the mega bus style but it was very very cheap so you get what you pay for but yeah no air conditioning no service at all on board so we're starving we're hungry we're very hot but we've got here safe to Frankfurt. We've just looked up a place to go for dinner on TripAdvisor very very quickly and we're heading through the centre of Frankfurt and wow what a place this does look amazing behind me now as you can see walking across the main river yeah getting very good feelings about being here in Frankfurt but yeah for now this needs filling up pretty quickly so get some dinner down but look at this city beautiful river beautiful skyscrapers to walk around and run through and run very fast through as well right guys we have come to Vevey vegetarian slash vegan slash yummy is their tagline so we're all over that uh, look at this bowl that we've got um, Sarah show everybody at home we have stumbled across an absolute gem of a place. So if you're ever in Frankfurt, you come to the marathon, whatever you eat, come and check this place out. It's really, really cool. And uh, yeah, I just cannot wait. So I'm gonna get stuck into this and we'll see you in a bit. This place is amazing. Right, we've made it to the hotel. Somewhere a little bit posher, a little bit more like Sarah is used to. So yeah, we're gonna check in. Absolutely knackered. But the Berlin Marathon course is stuff is coming. So right, let's go and check in. We'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so we've finally made it to the hotel at Frankfurt after a very long but really fun day. So what are my thoughts on the Berlin Marathon course? Should we go hatless? Should we go with some funky hair like that, which is what it looks like normally? Um, yeah, it was obviously a super quick course um, out there. A little bit more undulating than I was expecting, actually. Um, I think Strava came up with about 240-ish metres, which probably sounds quite a lot, and it's probably more than I was expecting, but it felt about right. There's a lot of bridges you've got to go over, um, and yeah, at times you got, felt, really felt like it's getting a real decent momentum um, getting up going at times on some of the slight downhill. So for me, I really, really loved it. Um, and yeah, it just kind of, it sort of, it's not really like climbing in the set, in the normal sense of the word if you're used to trail running and things, but it just sort of slightly breaks it up a bit. If you run something like Amsterdam, which is just pancake flat, it's mentally so, so tough to get through races like that. But this with the, like, the little inclines and the little uphill and then fast downhill and things, for me, that would just sort of makes up such a perfect race. And I can see why some of the world's greatest races have put some amazing times um, out there on this course. So yeah, absolutely love getting out there. Really, really excited for the race. Still don't know if it's gonna be the key race, but I'll be running, you know, whatever happens. I'm here to have fun um, and enjoy my running and racing. Um, as well and also what I really liked about it is that wherever I were wherever we were during the course 
There were like big buildings around you. We were never like out of town going through some desolate <laughs> field, which you can get in some of these big uh, city marathons that aren't actually really in the city at all. Anyone that's done something like Edinburgh Marathon, for example, you just, not in Edinburgh, you start in Edinburgh, and then you're just running along the coastline with not a soul around. But in Berlin, all in the city, big sort of skyscrapers, big buildings around. It's giving you some amazing atmosphere, big crowds noise but you know sort of bouncing off the buildings and things so yeah every part of the course absolutely loved it um a few little sort of 90 degree corners and things to get around it shouldn't be any sort of gps issues as well because the buildings weren't too high so that was a little positive as well and and yeah sort of finally the start and the finish the start is going to be super fast it's sort of dead straight line um out um yeah, sort of round that roundabout and then go. In the first couple of k's, you can really sort of get really nicely, get some rhythm going and really sort of get into your stride early on. And then, yeah, a few of the little hills in the first sort of half there to look forward to. And yeah, the finish, oh, it's going to be amazing. Running through the Brandenburg Gate there. The finish isn't actually there. It's about another three or 400 metres after that. But yeah, sort of going to be super excited to be running through that bridge in, yeah, just a few weeks' time. So yeah, that's my... Bridge? It's not a bridge. The Brandenburg Gate in a few weeks time. Oh, I'm ready to get into this bed and to get some sleep. So yeah, that's it of course. They're my thoughts on the route of the Berlin Marathon. Ow! Right guys, that is a wrap on this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed Follow Along. We're gonna get some sleep because we've got a big run to do tomorrow. So yeah, follow us along tomorrow. Thanks for all the likes, the shares, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, all the support you guys give us is just amazing, so thank you so much. So yeah, share it with your friends, like, let me know down in the comments always what's going on in your world. Thank you to all the new Patreon supporters. I'll put your names up along the screen now. So yeah, if you've got a few spare pennies and want to help us along in our journey, Patreon is the place to go. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> and what are we going to do, Sarah? <laughs> no, you'll, you'll do it. We'll see you in the next one.